Bro, I actually has one of the strongest that I think I've seen. Wait, this Deluke? Is this the strongest Deluke? Let's see, chat. Hey YouTube frogs, quick disclaimer before we begin the review video. I use abbreviations to help describe build strength. CV is crit value, which is crit rate times two plus crit damage. And SV is stat value, which is crit value plus additional stats that are relevant. Examples include energy recharge, attack defense HP percent, and elemental mastery at a conversion of 20 to 5%. As an example, an emblem feather on Yalan that has 10.9 crit rate, 21.8 crit damage, and 6.5 recharge would have a crit value of 43.6 and a stat value of 50.1 because we would include the recharge for Yalan. These are purely to compare artifact and relic quality and are inherently inaccurate when it comes to describing the true strength of a completed build. So, don't take these numbers as law, they are just a way for me to assess builds when reviewing them. Enjoy the vid. Is Rizli on the right track? Okay, Rizli is a character that does not really need recharge. You'd have 64 crit with Mara Sussi and about 250 crit damage. So if you're there, slightly too high, need 20 more, good attack, EM is optional, recharge is extra, so it looks fine. Um, you're on for Mara Sussi. Having a little bit more crit damage at expense of your crit rate would be the most optimal thing. These two pieces are good. Uh, good enough. Low roll crit damage. Okay, it's pretty good. But yeah, you can't really do much besides switching some rolls here. It's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. Nothing to complain about here. You got really juiced pieces. That's a great piece. Yeah, it's, I mean, like, you're you're overcapped by, like, two substats, but it's not that big of a deal. Her damage could be 250%. Your weapon is uh, signature, so, yeah, it's good. Singing Angel. Ayatos. RN, nice. 400 death, nice. C3, okay. Uh, double crown, okay. 7211, that's pretty good. Recharge is actually pretty good. I feel like the crit sets could be better. What can we squeeze out? Okay, this is a high attack. 33 CV, 48 SV, 714 low roll attack. So this is probably what it, gonna be one of your weakest pieces. 28 here, under 40 SV. Uh, this is pretty good, 35. I don't got the low roll crit rate, but otherwise fine. No crit rate on this piece. Mm. Once you get that, it will be much better. Room for 10% crit rate at least. 8211, 8211 would be a lot stronger. You got a 1.5 then. I mean, overall pretty solid. Not too much you can really change here. Feather and the Mask are the only two pieces. It's good. Wolf's Gravestone, four piece Crimson, C3, a triple crowned. Wait, this is, this Deluke? Bro, actually has one of the strongest that I think I've seen. That is insane. This is 1.9. That is unheard of. I usually never see this. Is this the strongest Deluke? Let's see, chat. Beautiful. 50.5 pure CV. 7.8, 28. This is a uh, four line with a dead defense rule. But still, it's a uh, 42.8. Damn. Imagine if you were a Hu Tao main, bro. Hu Tao mains are f***ing screaming right now. Pyro Goblet. Okay, just your average 1020 pieces, 42 CV. 82 EM, 20 crit damage. Okay, Hu Tao mains are actually creaming their pants. These pieces are so f***ing good. Crimson Witch bad for Hu Tao. Shime and Mara shall say better. I don't think if you're if you're non farina I think Crimson Witch is still better. But if you're Mara, if you're Farina, then Mara shall say he's better. Ito D's no. Red Horn. Four piece husk C1. 73262. Mono Geo, I don't think should have a problem with recharge, but it may. Depends. If you don't have enough recharge, get more recharge. Overall, the artifacts are pretty strong. 1.6. Total of a what? Like 225? Here we got low roll crit damage. It's the only thing wrong with this build. Holy sh**. That's a lot of defense. I am not going to complain, but you would have rather had that on crit because he definitely is over capped on defense. Uh, defense main stat is expected. Uh, 35. Geo Goblet. Is this 5 husk? I cannot honestly tell. I think it is. So... 14 crit, that's good. Okay, that's good. So you could do an off piece for something. And the piece that I would probably recommend you do off piece for, what really has the lowest stat value? This one is 45, 47, 35, 45. They're all so close. It actually is the time piece. Like you could squeeze one more roll out of crit rate. That's about it. Every other piece has like over 45% of relevant stat. So it's kind of not easy to change. Feather, if you devalue defense, then I would consider changing the feather. That's only if you devalue this 20% defense. Otherwise, yeah. Jam was Yalan. Uh, Fading Twilight. This is more F2P than F2P. Okay, your stats are fine. Uh, looks a little, looks pretty good, though. I mean, about 80 crit. About, well, you know, pretty pretty good stats overall. That's pretty good. That's 45 SV. 33 CV. 42 CV. 35. Low, low crit rate. Yeah, it's good. Nothing I would really change. The, for you, it's honestly just a slightly better artifacts, but not really worth investing in. 
Your A and your Ayaka. We know you EL5, okay? Four emblem. Naraku is E6, of course. That's a lot of crit rate, but not a lot of crit damage. Let's see. Okay. Okay, these are great pieces so far. Okay, that's a great piece. Ooh, no crit damage on this piece. A little unlucky. This 16 recharge here is pretty dead. Because you are EL5 at 286. So that recharge is definitely dead. It's there's there's zero value. So plus 10% crit damage here and plus 10% crit damage here probably is your cap until you get high rolls and four line pieces. So 8140 is probably your cap, which is pretty good. High crit rate's better, especially if you run C6 Sara. Ayaka, Miss Splitter, a four piece blizzard, C0, triple crowned. 43, 263. Looks pretty good. Lower crit damage than I expect for Miss Splitter. Uh recharge is on the lower side, but still good enough if you have the proper supports to support it. 62110, good. That one okay. 41 SV. What is this SV? 43. Okay, about the equal. 618, 11. Okay, this is good. Keep that. Even though it's low roll. Uh, this is also okay. Not the best though. I feel like you really could squeeze another recharge roll there. Uh, 10 recharge here. Okay, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I like. Yai. Congress Verity 2-2. Two, two, zero. Triple. 91, 220, 120 recharge. Actually, really good build. I like that. That's this is a good build. Yeah, it this is a build where it's like it's two piece, two piece, but it's got really high crit rate, which I love. And okay, that's good. These are good pieces so far. 47 SV, 42 CV, 32 CV with 10, 10, 52, 52 SV. This is super, this is high value. Four line, one, 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 two roll, four line start. Really good piece there. Uh, fucking insane. This is insane. No, this is three line. This is this is basically strictly worse than this piece just because of minus one roll, but still really good. It's about 50. This Yaimiko kind of fucking really good. This is a zero wasted set Yaimiko. Albeit it's not four piece. It's two piece, two piece, but it's still zero wasted. Two flat attack rolls, but this is perfect. That's perfect. And this is perfect because like they're not C6, so they need this recharge, and 120 is, like, not actually that bad. They have super high crit rate above 90%. Their crit damage is 220 on, on signature weapon. They have good EM, good attack. It's actually... This this Yai is uh, a well-refined Yai Miko. It's not even that much of a flex. It's just, like, good. All right, what's your Lenny? Scoured Heart, 4, 9, 61, 220. This looks pretty good. Uh, the crit damage is lower, though. Crit rate is already 97.8. Recharge, I think, is more than enough for your use case. Wait a minute. You're using Skyward Harp. Never mind. You do have room to improve. You should not be using Skyward Harp on Linny because this is the problem that you have. If you want to improve your Linny's build, it is definitely a crit damage weapon and more crit rate substats because you definitely have room to get that. Feather you keep. Timepiece you upgrade slowly over time. Goblet you definitely upgrade. That's an off, that's your off piece. The mask is not that bad. And flower is okay. Not the worst. Getting... 7 to 10% there. And another 7% here. Sacrificing crit damage would help. And then you go crit damage bow. Thundering pulse. Great magic. Or for right now, it, it, this this build works. Nuv. Alet. Tome. 4. C0. 9. 57. 318. Wow. Your artifact quality is actually fucking insane. 320 crit damage is super, super high. 1.7 Novalette build with 11 recharge. Your recharge is potentially a problem, but this build is very, very high end. Uh, that's a low roll build. That's sex. Nice. Love that piece. Uh, that's slightly low roll. That is decent. That is high crit rate. Um, HP means you're running Farina. So the only piece that is problematic is nothing. It's just low rolls. Just get better rolls, forehead. Just hit a 7.8 on this and hit a 7.8 on this. Hit a 14 crit rate and a 14 crit damage on this. And hit 27 crit damage. It's literally a low roll Andy. Like, if you didn't low roll, you'd actually be at 64, 325. How does that make you feel? I need to figure out where I can squeeze in more ER and could use the advice. So if I were you and I wanted to squeeze more energy recharge... Um, I would do it on your flower and cut the crit damage out. Because, think about this. The difference between 300 to 318 crit damage is 5% damage. So, you're losing 18 crit damage, but you're only actually losing 5% DPS because your crit damage is already so fucking high. Uh, that 18 crit damage could be 18 recharge. That's just how you should view it. Please look at my ride in build, sure. Four emblem, C3, double crowned, Oh, yeah, it's really good. 
I mean, it's not the 7200 build, but that's not really a fair comparison because that build is insane off the charts. 64133. Now that is also sex. 1.85. Is it Electro Goblet? Damn, it's your off piece. Low roll crit rate. This is a four line low roll crit damage. This could have been 50, but currently it is 45. So you lost five CV off of bad rolls. That is also juiced. You f dirty high roller. So what's the what's the um SV on these pieces? That's 45 because EM doesn't matter. This is 52. So 45 SV, 52 SV, 51 SV. 40, your lowest SV because it has no attack percent, ironically enough. Um, and this is, it's like 96%. All right, Sartsy, can you review my ass? Hmm. That is a strong ass with really high crit. 1.7, 73 to 20, good retard as well. Four piece emblem because you're a fucking giga chat, I guess. The goblet's perfect. The mask is insane as well. 15 retard, 27 crit damage. Time piece is also perfect. Feather is almost perfect. And flower is, wow, okay. This Zhongli is hot. Nice. Attack HP, HP, attack recharge, attack recharge, HP. Actually crazy good Zhongli build, nice. All right, Thor of the North, Navia. 71 to 25, Nighttime Whispers without C2. Okay, this gives you room to improve, which I don't think is a bad thing. C2, which puts you above 100%. Currently, I think the build's actually pretty good. Crit damage recharge, juiced, 40 here. Uh, 35, dead defense. Goblet is juiced, 42, I believe. Mask is the only piece that could feasibly do, make an upgrade, but you have a, you have this recharge that I really like. So this build is done. You have a actual end game build. Just need C2 now. Smile. Ba 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 ba. Tome. Or Mara shall say C6 triple pump my 5300. Recharge. Since you're C6, you don't actually need. This is pretty good. But there's definitely room to improve. Is there 1.5? So you can probably squeeze out about. 15 to 20 more CV out of this. Uh, that's definitely a piece that I would try to upgrade. At least minimum 720. Okay, so seven more crit rate on that. That is good enough for now, but low roll crit rate. That does not have crit damage on it. Okay, I found the two pieces that you need to... Oh, that, that is definitely very rare to see. 7.5% average crit damage roll. That's crazy. Okay, I know the problem that your build has. It's literally just the time piece and the flower. That's it. Bay do two piece two piece c6 yo kind of slick 100 curry beto wow what the f are these builds that you're showing me today holy sh that's a 56 sv right there what the f stop okay boys relax it's not a four piece emblem if it was four piece emblem it would get a f definite a tier for me but like your artifact quality is definitely like s minus utal uh c1 double crowned 75, 267, 114 recharge. Yo, this Hu Tao is kind of cracked. We're getting a lot of really, really, really good builds right now, guys. Low roll crit rate, otherwise very nice. Low roll crit damage, otherwise very nice. You have enough EM to do HP main stat? If you have the right supports, yes. 49.8 though. This was four line, by the way. Okay. Mass kind of mid. Uh, you still got a little bit that you can improve. About 10 CV total, but very nice. Navia. Verdict with 94, 200, but not four piece, Sag. Non four piece Navias lose about 20% because they don't have the four piece. Because the four piece options for Navias are so good. So we have uh, four piece Echoing, which is 50% Geo and 18% Attack, which is juiced. Four piece Golden Troop, which is pure E damage at 70%. We also have four Mara Sussy, which is 36 crit rate with Farina. So all of those are massive gains that you would probably end up sacrificing for. But for the purpose of this build, it's very beautiful if you, yeah. 50 SV, 50 SV again, 45 SV, 50 SV, yeah, pretty good. Nice. Art to flex Kazuwa's Sands. How can you flex Kazuwa's timepiece? How does that even work? How can you even have an amazing timepiece? <laughs> I mean, if your Kazuwa's C6, oh. Then that makes sense. Well, if you have a C6, then you can definitely use that juicy piece. Yo! This Kazwa is actually gorgeous. What the hell are those stats? You're not going to be able to burst 100% of the time, but that's okay because it looks good. That's actually beautiful. Mmm, 1.72 with 8 plus 80% crit rate. That is... Yo, this is kind of crazy. 
Definitely DPS Kazuha. Sheesh. Okay. How good can a hotel goblet be to flex it? Mmm. Oh. Any pyro goblet needers, by the way? This one is 49 CV. Haha. -ha. Uh, your gene is Jade Cutter. Okay, as long as you have the recharge. What's your recharge? 158. Okay. It seems you went the more DPS route, which is totally fine as long as you have enough juice. Or of your descent, you're running ER timepiece for sure. Yep, okay. Uh, artifacts are really very, very crit focused. And ER attacker damage is about, yeah, it's good. I am worried about your recharge because she's 80 cost. Um, she does, she's not 80 cost. She's 64 effective with the 20% refund. Uh, if you're doing only one EQ, you're going to have a problem. But if that's not an issue for you, then this is probably as good as you're going to get. So, Beto. Uh, Red Horn, two piece, two piece, C6. I wish you guys would run four piece emblem because it really does help with her stat distribution because recharge would be plus 20% and then you'd also get damage bonus for her ultimate unless you're going for an E build which you totally could be doing nice good build 50 SV holy nice what the f nice interesting piece um I guess the other pieces make up for it in order for you to use this this is only 20 CV but it's 45 44 SV it's not that bad not that bad. It's actually, it's actually decent. Like anything above like 40, 45 SV is a definite keep, you know? This is really good. Really, really good. 20 crit damage and 21 recharge is really, really good. That's really good stats. Yolan. Aqua Simulacra for... What the f... Did you make a mistake here? I feel like you made a mistake here. Oops. Okay. Now we're back to business. 73, 240 with Aqua. Okay, it's, it's a pretty good build. The crit damage is definitely lower than most builds, but that's okay. I uh, recharge is definitely higher than most builds, which is a plus point. Before I comment, are you ER timepiece? You are. Okay. That means your recharge is expected to be that high. 719, 35. No crit rate. Having 7 crit rate would be a huge gain here. It would put your build to 80 to 40, which would be even better. High crit rate, Yelons are base. We love them. No crit rate here as well and unoptimal substat so definitely you have the you have a lot of room to improve a lot of room to improve you have two pieces that don't have crit rate you can each get seven percent in both of them that's plus 15 you'd be 88 and then you have some pieces that have attack percent instead of crit damage could have been 250 definitely room to improve two eula builds surely this is enough er and crit build okay yeah you don't what the f you took the homework assignment a little too seriously i think you might actually be a little if you have one fav juicer and you have a funneler like rosaria you don't actually need 165 but that doesn't mean you should take this away because it's actually really really cool to look at i like that a lot your crit build is 130 this is more expected um what's the difference between these two builds same attack you traded 30 crit damage for 35 recharge i mean i think both of these builds are very 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 good and i think both of them can be used in different situations if you're trying to do an experimental Eula with less particle generation, this one. If you have a perfect optimized team around her, this one is definitely better. How is your bondage? Oh, wow. 99.6 crit rate. The rolls are pretty decent as well. 3.3, 3.3 again, 3.3 again, 3.4. Main stat, recharge. Main stat, 21 and 10. HP. 10%, 4%, 10%. Nothing I would change. If you wanted to optimize a little bit, 200 recharge in certain teams might be overkill, which means that the flower couldn't be more crit damage invested, and you can go 621 or 628. That is basically the only thing that you could feasibly do. Everything else is kind of locked in place. DPS Kakomi. <laughs> Jade Falls of Splendor. I don't think this is DPS. I think it's just a normal Kakomi build. Looks fine. It's the wrong build. Is this any different than what your previous build was? Oh, four ocean hued clam. Okay. How is this DPS though? What are we making DPS here? We have the same flower. We have high HP. We have high recharge. We have no HP. This is such a sh plus 20 piece. What happened? Two rolls a uh, flat attack, one roll HP. Man, that is kind of sad. 77 EM. I don't think this build is any different than your previous build, bro. I mean, it does a little bit more damage, but I think both of them are very nice. If it were me, then I would probably always run the four piece tenacity because I'm lazy. 100 to 13.6 with low recharge. HP main stat. Basically the same build as the other one. Can you still do better? Yes. Goblet. That's probably it. Oh, I guess in flower. 100 to 13. There's literally nothing to change here. 100% crit rate is actually so satisfying. 
How did we end up reviewing a bunch of Yalons now? Elegy for the end 73 214. What the f is this crit damage? Brothers artifacts are really strong for no reason. Holy sh 42, 42, 40, 40, 18 crit rate. Okay. Wow. Arena. Splendor of Tranquil Waters. Four piece, C1, double nine. Oh, actually excellent build. The only problem is that the recharge is pretty low. Uh, your time is HP with 10%. Okay, how much recharge do you have? Five, uh, none but 11 HP. Really good piece there, really good piece there. Okay, you're doing the best you can possibly do, I guess. I do think that having this little recharge may come into problems when you're doing lower fabs and lower hydro teams. But if it's not a problem, then you do you. Yelan is C6139 recharge. I'm not a fan of that being super low. Would like you to have some subsets on recharge. Some more substats. Overall, pretty decent stats though. You are HP mask with 21 crit rate. Wow. Low roll on the feather as well. I think the only thing you can feasibly do is get a little more recharge here. Yeah, this is, uh, you got the RNG gods on your side. I definitely would suggest a little bit more recharge, but if you're not having any problems, then, it's, then this build is basically done. Check out my Hu Tao. I've been working on her. She's top 92 on the Akasha. 100 elemental mastery, which means your HP timepiece. Okay, how good are the stats? Whoa, you actually have amazing crit rate. 92.5 crit rate. Yeah, you do have a thousand defense, but that's okay. Hold on a second. They might be cooking, guys. Yo, bro has more crit rate than their crit damage at 80%. That is actually unreal. Yeah, this is a 1.78 build. Jesus. 49.8 to start on the flower. 40 CV, but 50 SV on the feather. Okay. Wow. That could have been better. It was a four line, but the HP and dead rolled. 43 CV, 48 SV. Pyro Goblet, pretty good, but it's just three lines. So it's just your average piece. The attack percent is mediocre. 35. Wow. Okay. Juiced. 27.40. So insane, insane, insane. Okay. And great. Top 92 because you have high crit rate. That's what you should have. 79, 160 for a Favonius Warbo. It's about average. It's about 80, 160. Really nice recharge. Pretty decent build. Nothing to scoff at. A really insane flower and feather. What's your time? Piece? What's your mask? Crit rate with HP recharge and crit damage. Okay, the, the SV on this build is, seems to be very high. This is probably your worst piece considering how low world it is. There's no crit rate on this. Overall, really good. Yeah, really good fabric build. Nothing to really complain about here. 8160 is a perfect ratio. Rachel Novelet build. Mm, not bad. Crit damage is pretty low though. Tome with four Marshall say with good crit rate. Oh, you went HP mask. Oh, your HP mask sucks. I feel like you'd just be better oh, going crit damage. Fuck. So flower really good. Has some nice recharge on it. Feather's also good with basically perfect subs besides the flat HP. Uh, time piece also good. Goblet 17.9 crit rate. Yeah, this build is good besides the mask. I don't think that this mask is worth using because you don't have great rolls on it. I think a crit damage mask does more DPS overall, but you can optimize it and check. It's an optimizer angle. I don't know. In my eyes, I would think that 290 crit damage is probably stronger than the HP. Yeah, it's, it's a mix and match. I don't really know. It, it could be okay, but I think that the higher crit damage is better. 110 ER Novelette. Wow. Wow. Prototype Amber, basically perfect crit ratio, except for the fact that one of your artifacts sucks. Flower is perfect. Feather is just low roll crit rate, but you don't need more crit rate, so it's basically perfect. Besides, well, I, I do think here's, here's one optimization. If you did max roll this crit rate, you could low roll somewhere else. You could drop one roll somewhere else, except for like the, time, uh, the goblet. Uh, the type is your off piece. Goblet does not have crit damage on it. Definitely a way to get more stuff and 17 crit rate on the mask. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty juiced. Ganyu. Four piece wanders troop C5. Lux, how did you end up in this spot? How did you end up C5 on Ganyu and then you just fing forgot about the last one? And it's the most important one because, like, her gameplay for fing Melt Ganyu does not change until C6. 57 208 is pretty good for almost bow. Pretty good. Really high EM as well. Crit ratio is 1.6. Pretty solid. Huge crit right there. Perfect feather. Only thing is crit damage could have been 2% higher, but perfect. Timepiece, also really good. Four line, dead defense roll. Crit rate's a little bit low roll. Crit damage is also a little bit low roll, but still good. 
That's that is pretty good, isn't it? How how much is this? It has no crit damage on it, which would have made it perfect, but it's still two crit rate rolls and wait, two crit rate rolls and three EM rolls means that the overall GM is 20.5. That's pretty good. Mask, 10 crit rate, 5, 11 attack. Yeah. So the only thing that you can really feasibly change is adding a crit damage line, but otherwise you're pretty well optimized for your stats. Nice build.